everyone. I'm Brittany Walker. And I'm Derek Essary with Coldwell Banker Realty. And together, we, we sell, sell real estate. estate. So today, we're going to take a look at what the market has done in the month of July for Salinas. So Derek, show us what the average and median sales prices are for Salinas last month. Yeah, so we saw an average sale price of 755000 And this number is actually the same year over year from July of 2022. Um, when we look at the average sale price, that was also 755000 but there was a little bit of a difference year over year. Last year, we saw an average sale price of 847000 Fantastic. And so many people may not understand. They hear a you know 10% drop year over year and they think that's a scary number. But when we're looking at the average, sometimes you have these outlier properties that might skew the data. So really when I'm looking at this, I noticed that there were more higher end properties that have sold last year than there are at this exact same time this year. Many of you also may not know the difference between average sales price and median sales price. So the average sales price, it takes the group of properties that have sold, it adds up the sales prices, and then it divides by the number of properties that have sold. Now, the median sales price, on the other hand, it takes that exact same group of data, but it finds the true middle number. So the outliers may not be quite as obvious when we're looking at the median. So next, we'll take a look at sales price to list price ratio. Now, many of you know that during the pandemic, homes were selling for way over their asking prices. At the beginning of this year, homes were actually selling for below their asking price. But the good news for our sellers is in July, the properties were selling either right at or just above their asking price. Another important topic is the average days on market, meaning how long it actually takes for a home to sell in this market. Earlier this year, we were seeing the average time frame take, you know, between 40 up to 50 days. Um, this past month, the average days on market was only 21 days. So if you're a home seller, that means you could likely expect to accept an offer within the first three weeks. And if you're a home buyer, that means you really need to pay attention to timelines to make sure that home's still available. Now, we work with a lot of move-up buyers, and I think something that we specialize in is really creating that timeline for our clients. So we study this average days on market to make sure that our clients can get from point A to point B smooth and seamlessly. Absolutely. You can see, again, lots of news in the headline about, oh, inventory is drastically down, and that's accurate. Dr uh, inventory is actually down almost 43% year over year. So there are 65 homes that have sold this last July compared to the 114 uh, properties that sold the July previous. But, you know, again, I don't like to have my clients listening to the news too much because everything is doom and gloom or really scary. We know that properties are selling really quickly mm -hmm. at or above asking. And so there might be fewer properties on the market, but honestly, that's pretty competitive for a seller. It's a great market to be in. Yeah, absolutely. And one other thing we know too is, based on the area you're in, these numbers can really vary. So if you want us to run numbers for your specific neighborhood or maybe an area you're considering purchasing in, contact us and we can do that for you. Have a great day.